Miles Morales live action finally listen ever since the spider-verse movies the spider-man games we have all been foaming at the mouth for more Miles Morales and now a new rumor suggests that he will be introduced live action in the MCU this is coming from insider Daniel RPK who says Amy Pascal and Kevin Feige want to introduce spider-man Miles Morales in spider-man 4 so the next installment which Tom Holland spider-man is set to lead but wow that would be interesting to bring Miles into this next trilogy alongside Tom. Now, there haven't been many details to be confirmed about Spider-Man 4. You know, we've had rumors going around that Kevin wants it to be a standalone Tom Holland-focused Spider-Man effort and that Sony wants it to be more of a multiverse effort. This detail could just give us Peter and Miles, and I would love to have the two of them teaming up, of course. Now, Tom did disclose some details about Spider-Man 4, but not too many. This was last June in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, and he says, and I quote, it was myself, Amy, Kevin Feige, Rachel O'Connor, some Sometimes other executives from Marvel will sit in. It's a collaborative process. The first few meetings were about why will we do this again? And I think we found the reason why. I'm really, really happy with where we're at in terms of the creative. I feel like we hit a home run with our first franchise and there's a part of me that wants to walk away with my head held high and pass the baton to the next lucky kid that gets to bring this character to life. What better kid than Miles Morales himself coming into the MCU and being the new MCU Spider-Man? I would love to see Tom pass the baton onto an actor who would play Miles Morales Morales, preferably a half African American, half Puerto Rican actor. That would be ideal to be in the boots of Miles Morales, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. And we've got a great Thunderbolts update, guys. Confirmed by the star herself, Florence Pugh, was talking on the red carpet for Dune last night, and she disclosed that she is now filming Thunderbolts. Let's take a listen. I've just started my new, my next movie, my next Marvel movie, Thunderbolts, and I've been shooting that, and... You heard it yourself, guys. She said that she's shooting Thunderbolts, her next Marvel project, and that is so exciting because now we know that Thunderbolts is filming and we can look forward to it coming out on its release date y'all there's not too many story details yet but we did just have lewis pullman cast as century and we did just have geraldine viswanathan step in and replace io edebury so there are some movements and shifts happening in thunderbolts but it's great to hear that they are currently filming and lastly guys we got to talk about this new rumor because honestly you got to let me know who you would like this character to be but this is coming from daniel rpk yet again and this rumor says that marvel studios is reportedly working on a new superhero franchise for 2026 they will introduce a new character that we haven't seen in the mcu yet we've already seen the inhumans we've already seen miss marvel of course we've already seen a lot of characters a lot of speculation has been that this is confirmation that we're going to get a nova movie and i think that would be excellent and hear me out i know we really like the richard rider version but i think it would be wise to go with sam alexander if you introduce sam alexander which we have seen in ultimate spider-man you would have a younger nova that would pair up well with Miles Morales and Kamala Khan and the Young Avengers guys. We could build a whole new team and get the Sam Alexander version up to speed with the MCU in a trio like team up with him, Kamala and Miles Morales. I would love to see them all working on screen together. Now maybe we can make some tweaks to the Ultimate Spider-Man version cause that, that little kid is cocky man. But honestly, I would love to see his energy bouncing off of other younger MCU characters and I would love to see Nova included. But if they wanna go the Richard Rider route, listen, I do like the Ryan Gosling casting. I think that is a cool choice to play Nova if they want to go with an older, more experienced Nova. Super down for that. The only mention we've had of Nova in the MCU so far is, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy mentioning the Nova Corps and them working with the Nova Corps in the first movie. So we don't have Nova in the MCU quite yet, but I am so excited to see what Marvel has in store. Now, this is not a confirmation that Nova's coming to the MCU. Just a speculation on my part, but hey, maybe it could be another character. There are plenty of other characters in the MCU to introduce so let me know who you would like to see down in the comments and y'all hey if it's your first time on this channel welcome the name is Leo Rydell and this is Geekly Goods where we talk MCU, DCU, Sonic, Cobra Kai movies and more guys hit that subscribe button if you're new and we'll see you next time on Geekly Goods.